Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Lovely B. And today I'm gonna to be discussing week nine pregnancy symptoms. I'm gonna tell y'all by far, this is, has been the best week that I have experienced since being pregnant. I can't account for what's gonna come, but week nine, so far i'm not all the way through week nine but this is like the beginning of week nine i have been feeling really good as you can see i'm on this camera and i'm talking to you guys and so i have been doing really well i have been controlling um uh, my nausea really well by really just keeping food into my stomach i learned that to control your nausea uh don't get hungry when you get hungry then it's all over for you like you just always feel sick so the goal is to never feel hungry i never let yourself get hungry and then also another thing with food i have to eat in the morning so like before becoming pregnant i used to eat after 12 o'clock and i could just go i could wake up for like seven not eat till like 12 one o'clock but now i have to eat like i literally wake up hungry like I wake up ready to eat. <laughs> like I have to have food before I can even go out the door. Like I need I need something in my stomach or else I'm going to feel very, very sick and very miserable. And so that's, that's one thing I have been grateful for for week nine. I'm able to keep stuff down and cause, because I'm learning what I can eat and what I cannot eat. Uh, also in week nine, uh also i'm still having the vivid dreams like uh in the last week it feel like they're getting stronger because i'm still like having the trouble sleeping with those dreams because i don't know they just feel so real it feel like i'm actually there in the dream and i can see everything clearly like i can see people's faces so clear I can see their freckles. I can see literally everything. Oh, I had Outback. I had Outback. And I, then I also had uh, Chick-fil-A. Y'all know, I couldn't really eat it. I was eating crackers and soup and stuff. And so now I'm able to kind of go out and branch out and eat other stuff, which is really exciting because I forgot to share in week eight um, and week seven, I actually used to have like different, I used to have breakdowns because of the um, not being able to eat and the excessive like saliva, the constant spinning and stuff like that. I was feeling really down. I started to get like a little depressed during those times. And um, I would have mental breakdowns, like literally crying because it just wasn't normal to me. Like, like I said, this is my first pregnancy and having this stuff thrown at you for the first time it's like wow what is going on with me and I just felt hopeless I felt I felt wordless I also just felt I felt so down inside you know because I felt like I couldn't cook I could not clean I couldn't do stuff for my husband the way I, I would usually do stuff and I just felt so bad inside and so I was definitely a little depressed during those times and I just I try to just keep God first and really be like okay it's put in my mind that this is gonna pass this is only temporary i just wanna let you guys know that first trimester well i'm still in the first trimester but first trimester is definitely not for everyone <laughs> you gotta be like literally strong person to take to take all of these things at one time because i don't i don't know i i was like telling my husband i was like babe I don't know if I want to have another kid after this. Just just the first trimester alone got me thinking like I'm done. I'm done. I didn't even get to like the hard, hard part. It's like the actual labor and the contractions. The first trimester was like, is just a killer for me. It's like a no-go. I was like, mm-mm. I'm going to have no more kids after this. Sorry. And he was like, you're going to be all right. You don't want to, once you see that baby face and... Those little eyes and little hands, you're going to want a baby. I'm like, I don't know. Because I'm the one got to carry the baby. So I'm just like, I don't know. But first trimester has has definitely woken me up. It definitely has humbled me. And um, 
for anybody that's going through first trimester, I want to let you know that there is hope of getting better. Because, like I say, I felt hopeless. I know where you are. I feel your pain. Um, and it won't last long. Find things that's going to help you get through. Well, find things that work for you. Because I kind of had to find what worked for me and my baby. So now I feel like, I feel like we here now. We like, we here. Even though I still be eating this, all this bad food. Because that's, that's what the baby like. But I got to take that part together. But uh, we here. I, I have, we have a, like an understanding. <laughs> a little bit of understanding. But I just hope, and my, I'm nine weeks now. And I just hope that I'm able to be consistent and just stay in this steady flow of not feeling sick all the time. Now I do have times where I am feeling a little sick, um, but that's normal. That's like when I'm getting hungry. And like today I did feel a little tired, but I feel like that is normal pregnancy tired, which is okay. First trimester, I get it. Now it's just a little more accepting um i feel like the last the beginning weeks like six and seven it was just so new to me and it caught me off guard and i was just like what is this but now i feel like i got the groove of it well i'm getting the groove of it and i'm a little better but week nine has been great i can't complain i actually have my first prenatal appointment uh august 3rd so i'm excited it's gonna be our first um ultrasound so hopefully we get a heartbeat and also hopefully we get to see the baby maybe do a little movement i don't know but we're really excited about that i'm gonna bring it's gonna be me my husband and my mom and so i cannot wait i cannot wait for that um this is the first time in week nine where I actually enjoy being pregnant because the last couple of weeks, it's just been so bad. I haven't been able to enjoy like the actual pregnancy or take it all in of, oh, I'm actually pregnant. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. This is week nine. Like I said, week nine has been pretty smooth for me. I can't complain. I hope it stays like this for the rest of the pregnancy. Cause I just cannot take it anymore. I can't take another week of that trauma. Like that was legit trauma. Like I will remember that for the rest. Of, I have, I have a lot more respect for women that have babies now. I can say that. Because at first I was like, um, but now I have a lot more respect for women that have babies because that is a lot. That is a lot to deal with. And it's just like, wow. So and you definitely need a support system. Just, just know that. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys on week 10.